Hi, I'm Mark from Light Feet Travel. I have an exciting opportunity I'd love to share with you. Can you spare some time? Yes, yes, of course, please. Uh, come in, Mark. Can I uh, offer you something from the minibar? My treat. I'm all right, thank you. First of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. Roger. Roger. It's a pleasure to meet you, Roger. No, please, the, the pleasure's all mine. I'll get right to it. Do you travel a lot, Roger? I do. So do I, as you might imagine. And I tell you, it can get burdensome taking your whole life with you everywhere you go, right? What if I told you that I could give you a service that would make all those burdens go away? A life without burdens? That's right. For an easy, one-time down you payment- Where from, Mark? I'm from down south. I'm from around here, actually. Oh, fantastic. You must be just starting your journey then. That's right. Just setting out and beginning. Do you have a lot of friends, Mark? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep doing that. Uh, please, continue. I suppose I do have a lot of friends. That's really good. Friends are... Uh, friends are important. Lucky for you, traveling is a great way to make new friends. Like me. And as your friend, I think you're going to be very interested in my case here. Let go of your burdens, Roger. For an easy, one-time buy-in, you get lifetime access to Light Feet Travel's deluxe courier service. That will come straight to your hotel door, anywhere in the world, stocked with all the items that normally weigh you down. By downloading the app and filling out a short form, you can request any traveler's item anywhere in the world with just the touch of a button. You've got your razors, shaving cream, shampoo, all top of the line products, and all yours, anywhere you need them. Are you interested in living burden free, Roger? Oh, I am. What is that buy in, Mark? You know what? Because we're such good friends, I'll shave 15% off the usual price. That's very kind of you. And what does that bring the price to for this incredible service? A steal at just a little under a thousand dollars. Wow, that's a, I'm sorry, that's just quite a bit of money, Mark. Remember, it's a one-time price for a lifetime without burdens. Trust me, my friend. In my experience, it's more than worth it. Oh, I do trust you, Mark. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Fire away. How much was your buy-in, Mark? I'm sorry? Well, you're an independent contractor, are you not? You would have bought your shares from the company that you then sell back for a profit, if I'm not mistaken. I'm afraid that's proprietary information. Oh, no, no, no of course, of course. <laughs> too personal, too soon. I, I understand. Have you always wanted to be a salesman, Mark? It wouldn't surprise me, you're quite charming. It's a recent career change, but I've never looked back. Now I don't want to take up too much more of your time, oh, Roger. No, no, uh, no, you're not at all, not at all. Um, I've been traveling alone for some time now, and you're the first person who... Well, I think we're a good match. Always good to make new friends. Now what do you think of my service here? Are you interested, Roger? Deal of a lifetime, or a lifetime? Could I have a demonstration? I'd love to see the service in action. Of course I should have offered that from the beginning. I guess we were having such an engaging conversation it slipped my mind. I thought it was just a simple touch of a button. For the customer, of course, but I'm using the salesman app. Slightly more complicated process, as I'm sure you understand. Just so there's no miscommunication or confusion for the courier. Won't be long. Yes. Everything all right? 
Of course. I'm excited to see the service in action and to make yet another friend. Hi, you must be our local rep. I'm Mark, the salesman that placed the order. Hi, yes, I'm Sam. I have an order here for um, shampoo and razors. Yes, that's right. Uh, we're doing a demonstration for my new friend Roger over here. Great, well I have the products right here. Well, don't mind me. Go ahead and uh, act as if I weren't here. Here we go. Um, which shampoo scent do you prefer? Citrus or Ocean Mist? Ocean Mist will make me a very popular man, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't you think, Mark? Um, it wasn't included in the order, but I thought you might also like some shaving cream. Thank you for your patronage of Light Feet Travel. Is there anything else uh, you'd like, sir? Um, toothbrush or conditioner? No, no, Sam, thank you. That's all I needed to see. Very professional, Mark. Well, I guess I... Sit down. I'm sorry for snapping. <laughs> uh, won't you both sit? Well, Mark, I have to say I'm disappointed. I thought you were a straight shooter. <laughs> such a talented young salesman, such a tempting offer. Live burden free. What a life. But, alas, just as your company duped you, you attempted to dupe me. That was an unfortunate thing to do. Roger, I can assure you that- Shut up. Rude. There is no courier service. Not in this area, at least. There's a reason you're having so much trouble making sales. Even if this app you're slinging does exist, which I strongly believe it doesn't, there wouldn't be enough business in this area to justify employing a courier. You realize this too late, of course, careless, due to your abrupt career change. And your only choice was to propagate the con with your friend here and try to get back some of that money that was stolen from you. I'd spare us. Okay, well, um, this has been fun, but I think it's time for us to go. Enjoy smelling like ocean mist, and if you'd like to buy into this phenomenal and definitely legitimate service, Mark will give you a number to reach him at. Mark? Ten thousand dollars. That was your buy-in, wasn't it, Mark? The total cost of your shares? Mark, hey. Hey, man, look at me. This guy's a creep, let's go. Mark, come on, there's no way he has $10,000. Look at this place. I would be willing to buy you out, Mark. All $10,000 of it. If you're willing to listen to what I have to say. Mark. Why would you do that? Sit. Mark, don't. You can leave if you need to. But I'm... I'm not making that sale. <sighs> At least it's two against one. I must admit, I have not been entirely transparent. You see, I am also a salesman. What do you sell? We sell peace of mind, Mark. A life truly without burdens. We? We. Life is hard. And it only gets harder when the world is out of balance. Doesn't it feel out of balance these days? Doesn't it feel like we're headed towards something seismic? No. Yes. It's because we are. It's coming. It will be here very, very soon. 
And when it is, it will be catastrophic. Now, lucky for you two, the winds of fate have blown us all here to this room to be presented with this service. With it, you'll be safe. Not only from this inescapable event, but from your daily burdens. You will be one of us, protected, and finally, free. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, that was so much better than I expected. Fuck. Pro tip, don't sell freedom and cult membership in the same pitch. It's a bit of a contradiction. Mark, come on, this guy is nuts. Doesn't it seem like we're headed towards something seismic? Let's get out of here. Before you go, Sam, I'd like to ask you a question. Fine. Shoot. Why are you here? You're not in debt. You have a stable, good-paying job. I'm helping my friend. Because this is your fault. That... No, it's not. You're crazy. Mark used to work with you, did he not? How could you possibly know that? Unimportant. What is important is why you were fired, Mark. Let's just... What is this? Why were you fired, Mark? It was a misunderstanding. Mark? That's right. They somehow got it in their heads that you were stealing money from the company? How? All right, that's enough. This is so fucked up, I'm leaving. Now where on earth would they get that idea? I, I don't know, I didn't do it. No, 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 of course you didn't, Mark. You would never do something like that. No, what must have happened is that someone else, the guilty party, kept silent. Someone who was also once desperate for some quick cash? Sam? <sighs> He's lying. You. One more question, Sam, if you don't mind. Fuck you. To whom was Mark's only sale? What? Mark has only made one sale of this fictional courier service. Who bought in? You know what, Sam? I think you're right. Let's get out of here. It couldn't be your aging aunt, right? I'd wager since her retirement, she doesn't do a whole lot of traveling anymore. You didn't. You said it yourself. He's a liar, let's go. On the contrary, I'm the only one in this room who hasn't lied today. She's on a fixed income, you son of a bitch. She couldn't pay her electric bill this month. You got me fucking fired. Uh, okay, yep, time to go. We can sort this out later. That's not funny. What the fuck, Mark, come on! It won't open, Sam! I don't care who comes with me, but it will be one of you. There's a buy-in for my service as well. Freedom from burdens does, unfortunately, come at a price. It's two against one and we have the knife. What is he gonna do, throw shampoo bottles at us? You can't hurt me. I am without burdens. It's two against one, fuckhead. Is it 